Hey guys, it's Bales. This is part two of five of uh, my video series on our new lineup builder tools. Um, in this one, I'm going to run over how to generate multiple lineups. So this is a new feature that we have on Fantasy Labs. It's um, in the lineups tab. Click generate multiple lineups and you will um, be able to generate anywhere between two and a hundred lineups. We could potentially bump that up if needed. Um, you can set a minimum salary caps. So at 99%, um, percent, we'd be looking at only lineups at 49.5 thousand or higher. Um, minimum projected points. So if you want to remove certain players who you think just don't have a high enough um, floor, or maybe just are ranked a little bit too high just because their cost is so low, you can do that. Uh, max players on a team. Um, all these settings will change for different sports. This is NBA, where sometimes maybe um, because players cannibalize one another's points, you might not want um, to fully stack a, a team in NBA. And then you can select which positions you um, would like in the utility. So just to show you how it works, uh, I didn't set any really um, parameters. Generate lineups really quickly. It gives you 10 lineups here. Um, and then the exposure that you have to each player on the right. So Drew Holiday is in 90%, DeMarcus Cousins is in 70 And these are more or less um, randomized, but randomized around your model. So players who have a higher rating are obviously more likely um, to show up in, in, in a lot of lineups. And then there's other things that you can do to get players in a certain amount of lineups, <clears throat> which I will um, show in a bit. Um, so we're looking here at the, these are sorted by projected points. So any, the top line about 251, the bottom at 246.8. Um, you can select all of the lineups, select none. Um, you can sort them by uh, the rating in your model as well. Um, but when you pick the lineups you want, so let's say that you don't like this lineup for whatever reason, so you have nine checked, hit save lineups, and these will go to your My Lineups page. Um, you can see all of your exposures here. You can see the um, breakdown of uh, which players are in the um, flex or utility spot. You also get lineup alerts. So um, these two players are currently in these lineups. Um, and you can, you'll also get push notifications um, if something happens. There's a late scratch with a guy who's in one of your lineups. Um, you'll know right away. So a couple other things you can do here. Um, when you build a lineup over here in the lineup builder, you can lock in players. When you lock in a player before creating multiple lineups, um, you can also lock him into every lineup. So when we do Brook Lopez um, and Drew Holiday and lock them in, then generate multiple lineups, we'll do 10 again, those two players are going to be in 100% of lineups. Um, and so... Uh, locking in players from the builder does affect the multiple lineup generator. Um, and then in the next video, I'm going to show you how to use exposure more in depth, but just really quickly, I'll show you. So when you lock in a player, you're basically saying, I want 100% exposure to him. But let's say we only want 80% exposure to Brooke Lopez, and we want Drew Holiday at 50%, and we want Trevor, Trevor Ariza, we really like, we want him in every lineup, and we want um, Wayne Ellington in 60 We'll try to get as close to those percentages as we can. So let's actually bump it up to 20 lineups. Um, it might take just a bit longer here um, as you set more parameters and, and pick your exposures. But um, we'll try to get as close to those desired exposures while still creating uh, more or less optimal lineups. So here we got very close. So 100% on Ariza, um, within 5% on Brooke Lopez, perfect on Wayne Ellington, and then within 5% on Drew Holiday, um, all while, while creating uh, lineups that um, also have uh, the proper amount of exposure to other players based on their on their rating in your model and then um, coming close to creating optimal lineups. So um, we can clear all of these lineups if we don't like them, regenerate new lineups, um, uh, pick the ones that you like, save them. They will again go to your My Lineups page. So now we will have, we have 29 lineups here, so you can remove any lineups you have. Um, I'll, I'll have a tutorial coming on My Lineups um, shortly. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's more or less how to use the multiple lineup tool. I'm really excited about it. I think um, you can see how quickly you can go from um, having really good projections like we do for NBA to creating up to 100 lineups 
in a matter of seconds based around um, your desired exposures and then being able to upload uh, those to DraftKings um, in minutes is, is really awesome. So next video, I will run over um, more in depth how to use the exposure.